1,000 fonts for free. Yes, that's not clickbait. You really can download over 1,000 fonts completely for free right now and the license for both personal and commercial use. So let me show you how. But first, what up folks? My name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech, and of course today we're talking fonts. So if you already know what you're doing, you know how to install fonts and all that sort of stuff, all you need to do is to go to fonts.google.com. Browse all of the fonts from there, click on the one you want, download it and install it, and you can start using it completely for free right now. So what are you waiting for? Go to fonts.google.com or if you're lazy, you don't want to even type it in, I'll put a link down in the description below. You can give that a click, just take it right there, and you can start downloading some fonts. Now, if that was useful, give me a thumbs up before you go, and any comments down below. Now, for those that have never installed fonts and all that sort of stuff before, hold fire, because what I've done is put together a quick video showing you how the website works, going through a few little details, and showing you how to download and install the fonts onto a Windows machine. Now, I am, of course, using Windows 10, so my guide is for Windows 10. I don't have access to a Linux machine or a Mac, so I can't show you on there, unfortunately, but if you're using Windows 10 and you're a little bit confused as to how to do it, stick around, because I'm going to show you how right now. So here I am in my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. We're just going to go to fonts.google.com. Now, there is also a link down in the description below, so you can give that a click rather than enter it manually if you want to. And you'll be taken to this screen here. So let me talk you through it really quickly. At the top left here, you can search. So if you know the name of the font you're looking for, you can enter it in there. You've got this box here, it says type something. As you can see, it's giving us a example paragraph, but if you want it to say something else, you can do so. So I've got, I, I'm Mr. Alex Tech. You can change the size over on the right. You can also sort by categories, language, and then font properties. And then down here, you can sort by Trending, most popular, newest, and name. Cool. And as you can see, there's 1,009 different font families for you to download completely for free, which, if you ask me, is pretty amazing. So what you need to do, scroll down. You've got all of these different fonts. You can just have a look for the one that you want, and then you can download it directly from here. So we're going to have a look at this top one here, which is just called Roboto. We're going to give it a click, and it takes us to this screen. And again, let me walk you through it really quickly. You've got the name at the top and who designed it. Many thanks, Christian Robertson. And then you've got these hyperlinks at the top, styles, glyphs, about, license, and pairings. So let's just scroll down. At the top here, you can see styles. So this one font is called Roboto, but there's lots of different variations of that one font. So there's a thin 100 version, a thin 100 italic version, light 300, 400, 500, 700, black 900, etc. It's all the same font, there's just different versions of it. Down here, these are the glyphs. Now the glyphs are just the individual symbols that you're downloading. So all the individual letters, numbers, punctuation, whatever it may be. There's then an about section. If you want to have a little look at that, you can do. And then importantly, there's the license. So you can see here, you can use them freely in your products and projects print or digital, commercial or otherwise. It's really worth having a quick look at the license just to make sure that you can use the font for your intended purpose. And then handily at the bottom of the screen, you've got popular pairings with Roboto. So it's telling me here that Open Sans is often paired with this font and it gives you an example. So the heading here is Roboto and this text here is Open Sans. So it just gives you an idea that there's another one which works well. So then you can go and have a look at that and maybe download both if you need them. It's also telling me that Notto Sans works well as does Lato. To actually download the font, dead easy. At the top here, you've got download family. So I'm just gonna give that a click. And in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm using Chrome, so you can see it's downloaded roboto.zip. Now that should have downloaded to your downloads folder. The easiest way to get into that from here, just click on this little arrow, and then click on show in folder. And here it is, and as you can see, it's a .zip file, which is a compressed folder, we just need to unzip. So all you need to do, Right click on the folder, click on extract all. A window like this will appear, just asking for the location. It should be set to the same place, so it's just going to download. I can click on extract. That will create a standard Roboto folder, which I can double click to open up. And within here, you can see all of these individual true type font files. So to install them, dead easy, give it a double click. This open type window will appear and it will give you a quick overview of the font. And then you can just click on install up in the top left. 
and that's it. You can just close that and that font has now been installed. However, I've got a whole bunch of different fonts here and I don't want to individually have to click on them all and then install them. There's a quick way that you can install all of the fonts in one go. So again, I'm using Windows, unfortunately I don't know an alternative for Mac, so you may have to look on YouTube or on Google for those suggestions. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to my Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to right click my mouse to open this menu, and then we're just going to go to settings. When the Windows settings appear, you've got this finder setting box at the top, just type in font, and then click on font settings. Now at the top of this font settings box, you can see here it says add font and you can drag and drop to install. So all I'm going to do, I'll move this window over to the left a bit. We'll grab this one, move it over here. We're just going to highlight all of these fonts. We're going to drag them into that box. It will change to say copy and then we release. And we get a little status bar, blue bar, that's just filling up and that's done. It's installed all of those fonts for us. And that's it, you're done. You can delete that Roboto folder and then continue downloading any other fonts you want to install on your system. Now, of course, you're going to want to use those fonts in your software, whatever it may be. In my case, it's DaVinci Resolve. All you need to do is to make sure that you restart that software. So if you had it open when you installed the fonts, just close it down and then open it up again and all your fonts should be there to use. So I'm just gonna add a text node on here to give you a quick example. I'm gonna shoot over to my font I'm going to find Roboto. There it is. I've got Roboto, Roboto Black, Light, Medium, and Thin. Let's go with Black. I'm just going to increase the size. And there it is. And that's it. We've installed the font. It's ready to go in all of our programs, and we can do what we like with it. Awesome. And there you go. Over 1,000 fonts that you can start using right away. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's a really useful resource for you. I use it all the time. It's well worth checking out. Loads of great stuff on there. So do some digging and let me know down in the comments what you find. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback or anything else, put it down in the comments below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see more general tech tutorials and some DaVinci Resolve videos, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching folks. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. See ya.